Welcome back to Bambi Builds for episode 6. Today the Desert Village Makeover continues. We are building our biggest and most important structure yet. The library! It's going to go right here behind our bakery next to the waterfall and it will sort of climb up the ugly mountain to cover it up. So let's jump right in and watch the transformation starting with the outside. So I'm starting with the front. I want it to look nice and symmetrical. Then I want the front door to open up into a main trading space where most of our librarians will hang out. I'm using the chiseled bookshelves as the main decoration. Apart from that, I'm mostly using smooth sandstone, jungle planks and dyed terracotta. Now I want the main staircase to travel straight up the centre of the building, slowly climbing the mountain, and all the workspaces and living quarters will branch off from there. The terracotta is changing colour as we move up higher with purple terracotta on the top level. I'm going to leave it at this height for now. I think that's enough space for a few librarians to start living and working. To decorate, we are using lots of books, obviously. We will use some moss and sweet berries. We can also use cactus and azalea leaves, but that's about it because we are in the desert biome and most leaves turn brown. And now for our first librarian, yay! Uh, I don't think I want that. To be honest, I don't know much about enchantments, but I do know that I want silk touch, mending, and feather falling, because I'm clumsy. They are the most important to me, mostly because I know what they are, Yay, we have mending. So I'll trade to lock that in. Meanwhile, down at the village, the baby villagers keep getting stuck in here. I've been feeding all the villagers bread, so they'll just keep multiplying. Now I'm trying to recruit a second librarian. I'm hoping he will follow this trail of potatoes. I don't know if he's actually following. Oh, he is. Well, sort of. Okay, time to get a job. Um, okay. That lectern's been taken already. But okay then. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> That's a good one, I think. I just need emeralds. Oh, I need a book as well. Okay, where can we find a book? I'm just kidding, we're in our library. Yay! No, I think you had the right idea. I think you should go inside. I think he wants his old bed back. Okay, I'll go destroy it. Honestly, most of the work with villagers needs to be done at night time. 
Come on, buddy. Let it go. This is your home now. Let's try the potatoes again. Oh, don't go out there, kitty cat. Now this is kind of spooky. Okay. He seems to be making his way to bed. Nice. Very nice. Now, I have lost my other librarian. Come on, buddy. Time to go back. Let's go to the library. No, not into the jungle. <laughs> Come on. I've had just about enough of you, buddy. Wow, this guy really won't work for nothing. He wants his potatoes. Okay, good. Now, go join your friend. No, this is, this is the wrong level. Okay, you want to sleep separately? That's fine. We have room for 10 in this library. We have two so far. And both are sharing the same lectern, apparently. Now for this library, we need books. And to make books, we need lots of paper. And to make paper, we need sugar cane. So here on level one is the perfect spot for a little cane farm. I found another potential librarian. Oh, never mind. He found a job already. Our village population is growing, which is ideal. And I just keep adding more beds. Okay, I'm going to need more potatoes because I want these librarians to multiply. And now I can't find the other librarian. He's lost. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, both of them are down here now. That's fine, as long as they go back to their bed at night. Yes, good. Okay, this one is not cooperating. Is the library just too far away? Is that why they don't go back? That's a shame. Let's get this guy home. And then I guess we'll just trap him there so they can never leave. He's not making it easy. Oh yeah, back out into the jungle. <laughs> of course. I need to get rid of all the extra beds. Okay, we got there eventually, but 
both librarians and their little baby are safe and sound in their home. And now they can't leave. I also extended this terrace because I think one of them was jumping over the ledge somehow. Our sugarcane farm has started to work. Slowly. Here's how the library looks from a distance. Very uniform. I didn't intend for that, but I don't mind it. I love all the colours. It's so colourful, but it still looks very deserty. This baby villager got trapped and then grew up. <laughs> Take your pick, buddy. You can have any bed you like. Nope. Or you can go outside. That's that's safe. Hey, he's trampling my beats. Oh no 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 no. I do not like baby zombies. I do like baby villagers. See how he has his desert uniform on? And then this guy has the jungle. Is it because of what the parents are wearing? Or is it because one was conceived in the desert and the other in the jungle? I don't know. But it's cute. So I'd like to end this video with a tour of the library so far. Here's the front. Nice. Here's our security gate. Here's a librarian. Oh yes, I have Feather Falling. Oh, we're about to witness some magic. Two jungle villagers and a baby desert villager. So it is just about which biome they spawn in. That's cool. So yes, our main library is here. We have a nice fireplace. We have a sugarcane farm, which is slowly coming along. We have a nice view of the village. Here we have our first living quarters, a bit of a jungle theme happening here. We have two villagers sleeping in here. A little balcony. This section ended up being quite small. So I've ended up making it a workspace for two librarians. Here is another main workspace. This is blocked off for now, but I'd like to create some kind of garden or sitting area out here. Our bamboo themed living space and six more beds. I just love it in here. And a 
another rooftop garden. And the top level, well, eventually the stairs will continue straight up there. But for now, the top level is this little study space. With an enchanting setup. And another garden on the balcony. And that is our library so far. I think it looks beautiful and ties in well with the rest of our village. It's looking very lush for a desert. The library still has room for a big extension, but I'm happy to leave it here for now and start working on homes for our other trades. We will do that in episode seven. I hope you'll join me then. Thank you so much for watching.